Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be a PM skincare routine featuring the Korean skincare brand Haru Haru Wonder. This is a brand that I have tried products from in the past. It came very highly recommended by quite a few of you. So I had tried a few of these in the past. In the past couple of weeks, I made a routine based around all of these products in which I used these products at least once a day. And I thought for tonight's video, I would just go ahead and show you how I've incorporated these into a routine. For me, Korean skincare brands typically are not where I get my active ingredients. So you're going to see my active ingredients coming in from other brands, but I do absolutely love to round out my routine with these gentle, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant rich Korean skincare products. And actually, really quickly before I get into showing you the routine and talking about antioxidants, I wanted to tell you that these products were kindly gifted by Stylevana, who has made a Haru Haru Wonder exclusive set. I am a huge fan of these exclusive sets that Stylevana does. I've purchased them in the past myself. They tend to be really, really good deals. This one right here is currently around $40. The value of the products inside is $60, so you're getting about a 30% discount. So if this is a brand where you're interested in trying quite a few products, you can get everything I'm showing you in this video for actually less than $40, as I do have a discount code that I will have up on the screen for you. So let's go ahead and get into tonight's skincare routine. I didn't wear any makeup, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the cleanser. This is the Black Rice Moisture 5.5 Soft Cleansing Gel unscented. One thing I really like about Haru Haru Wonder is that they have both scented and unscented options for these products. So it was quite nice to ooh, look at the bubble. <laughs> it was quite nice to get to try out a fully unscented version from their line. The other products in the exclusive set are the scented varieties. So now I can confidently tell you that if you do want to purchase the unscented varieties, they are truly unscented. No smell whatsoever. And oh my goodness, this cleansing gel thoroughly surprised me. I typically, you know, gel cleansers, it's just not my absolute favorite category. It's funny though, my partner, she loves gel cleansers. I asked her the other day, you know, what's your favorite type of cleanser? And it took her exactly a quarter of a second to say gel cleansers by far, no question. Uh, typically my favorite category is cream cleansers. I have a dry skin type, so it makes sense that I would love the most moisturizing feeling cleansers, but I got to admit to you, this is very well done. It's actually incredibly enjoyable to use. I almost forgot to use the Foreo. I thought I'd break out my little mini since I know a few of you grabbed the Foreo in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. So this is really just a very gentle cleanser. It's at a pH of 5.5, which we also talked about in Saturday's video. That I think it was just such a long video that we covered so much in one go. 5.5 is a fantastic pH for a cleanser. It is something where your skin doesn't have to do a lot of adjusting. It's very close to your own skin's natural pH. So it's just very gentle and yet it really does cleanse your skin thoroughly. So it just rinsed off. Just so you know, while rinsing that, there's a gentle foaming effect. It's not a very intense foaming, but there is some foaming. I'm gonna follow with the Wonder Black Bamboo Mist, which everything else from this box set is from the Black Rice line. This, however, is bamboo. I don't know why I talk while spraying mist. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this? I'm pretty sure I have talked about this product on this channel before. I'm just a big mist enthusiast. I think it is really valuable for you watching this video to know that I've spent my entire life in high humidity environments with, you know, the, the small exception of traveling. Oh my goodness, you all. My skin does so horribly in dry climates because I'm so used to not moderate humidity, but extremely high humidity. So I think it does make perfect sense that mists are a product that is very intuitive for my skin to deal with, right? It's something where my skin is like, oh, we are we are in our, our standard climate of high humidity. Yes, that's what we're... 
That's what we're in. So mists are a funny category because some people really don't like them and other people, like myself, use them all day long. So yeah, go figure in the past two weeks, it's the product where I've almost plowed through it. And the claims with the Wonder Black Bamboo Mist is that it is using fermented bamboo ingredients for very high antioxidant activity which we're about to elaborate on. So let's move on to what is arguably the most popular product from Haru Haru Wonder, their Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. This is a product that is available both in the fragranced version and a fully unscented, no essential oil version. A very affordable product and just simply a beautiful product as well. It's, whoop, it's a little bit more viscous, although if you let it sit on your hands too long, it will start to uh, run a little bit, but it does have enough viscosity to it that you can just gently pat it in with your hands and it is immediately refreshing, hydrating, almost cooling. It's lovely. It's another one of those Korean products that, you know, if it was sold in America, it would cost a lot more money. It, it would definitely be a mid-range product, not a $9 product. But what is it exactly that makes this product so special? Well, according to Haru Haru Wonder, it contains naturally fermented black rice as well as bamboo shoots, and it provides a boost of antioxidant-rich nourishment. Let's talk about that. So, when we talk about antioxidants, we are talking about their ability to almost play a game of finding and neutralizing these free radicals. Think of a bunch of antioxidant ingredients all at a game show. And the purpose of this game show, contestants, is that you have to get out there and find as many free radicals as you can and neutralize them before you move on to the next free radical. So just like in any game show, some of the players are more effective, some of them are faster and more efficient at finding these free radicals. So for example, L-ascorbic acid, vitamin C, is a very efficient and good player in this game. And I did find this really interesting study that's using one of the ingredients within Haru Haru Wonders line, specifically that fermented rice ingredient. And what they found is that it is a bit of a dose dependent ingredient. So they saw that 5% of fermented black rice was as effective as L-ascorbic acid, specifically at neutralizing free radicals. But again, it's dose dependent, which means 1% just wasn't the same level of effectiveness. This is exactly why I think companies do need to be transparent about percentages so that we as customers understand what it is that we're getting. And, and just to be clear here, I know Korean beauty might not look like they disclose the percentages, but they often do. It's a little bit different, but it's right here on the box, you know, 2,000 parts per million for this black rice ferment ingredient. Super easy conversion over to percentage. Again, it's not as high as the specific study that I was looking at, but it does have other antioxidant ingredients within it. So the idea here with this Haru Haru Wonder product is that they're using these more potent antioxidant rich ingredients, combining them together so that in the end, you have a product that acts on free radicals, but without some of the cons of the other antioxidant options. L-ascorbic acid certainly has cons, that low pH, the instability. So I hope my little game show example makes sense. This is what I was kind of trying to get at in the Ulta video we did on Saturday. You know, I was talking about these very expensive, strong antioxidants that I think it was Dr. Pericone was selling. Uh, yeah, that's great, but that doesn't mean it's the only strong antioxidant out there, and you may not want to pay $150 for that, you may instead want to go with ascorbic acid or fermented black rice ingredients. Total side note before we move on to the next product, so if you do buy the kit, it also comes with a little travel size. I did not think I was going to use the travel size at all, but then we went on vacation this weekend. We actually went to Repticon. I tried so hard to leave Repticon with specifically what I went for, which was feeders for our chameleons and toke geckos and, uh, you know, accessories for their enclosures. I still left with a Pac-Man frog. <sighs> Why do I have to love little cute critters so much? They're just so cute. So I've decided at this point in my routine to bring in my actives. I do need actives as someone who struggles with acne. And guess what, you all? Do you see this seal? Do you see it? I finally finished my 0.05% retinol serum, A-game from Geek and Gorgeous. 
And we are cracking open the 0.1% today. Ooh, it's even more yellow than the 0.5%. That's promising. This was kindly gifted by Geek and Gorgeous. I will absolutely be sticking with it and purchasing more. I've almost entirely switched my actives routine to Geek and Gorgeous. I, I, they just make such good products. Now, I'll, I will admit they're a little bit more basic, but that works out for me, and I'll, I'll show you why in a moment. A nice basic active serum is wonderful for layering, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna follow that with the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Anti-Wrinkle Serum. This is actually much more of an emulsion type of serum, but I do love how concentrated the ingredients from that toner are in the serum. This is where you're gonna have the highest percentage of that black rice ferment ingredient. I think that, I don't think this is quite as well loved of a product, probably because of its texture, but again, what I'm showing you, I'm telling you this is a great system, at least in my opinion. Layer it with your lighter weight serum. I am such a painfully broken record on uh, favorite products, so yes, of course, the glow recipe. <laughs> Avocado melt, retinol, sleeping, eye mask. Now with its own theme song. I just don't take my retinol too close to my eyes, so that's why I do use eye creams, although I have been thinking, I really have been thinking about trying the number seven retinol around my eye area. I feel like that might work. I just have to try it. So I use this product every single night and I've been using that Medicube uh, peptide eye cream during the day. I'll link you that video. Congratulations to Lisa who won my giveaway and we'll get to try that out soon. And then I'm gonna follow with the black rice facial oil. You get the travel size in the kit. I would actually start with the travel size. It's different from what I expected this to be. They say it's a very light oil, so I was thinking it was gonna be about the consistency of the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery. It actually is a little bit thicker, which is perfect for me. That's exactly what I love. I'm actually, I'm actually doing this in the incorrect order per Haru Haru. They say to use this as your last step, but we've got a very heavy moisturizer for today's video. So I would recommend not getting too caught up on a specific order. The lightest to heaviest recommendation is a very good general guideline. That's basically what I'm doing today. This is still lighter than my moisturizer. If it's heavier than your moisturizer, you may wanna put it last. But it's really nice to have this particular product because it actually is different in the Haru Haru lineup. This is a base of rice bran oil, which does have different benefits. It is a uh, much higher in anti inflammatory activity, which is wonderful. That is something that I typically need as somebody who does have acne prone skin. One thing to keep in mind with Haru Haru products, if you do have acne as well, if you have a more reactive or sensitive skin type, uh, you may not want to purchase the scented varieties as they do use lavender oil. Now, lavender oil is such a catch-22. It actually does have antibacterial activity, but because it is an essential oil, it does have a potential for allergy. There are certainly people who cannot use lavender oil or it will go poorly on their skin, and yet there are also people who benefit from that ingredient. So as a, a general recommendation, if you're not sure, I would go with the unscented varieties, but if you know lavender oil works for you, you may enjoy the fragranced versions. My second to last step today is actually a US drugstore product, a new release from L'Oreal. It's such a funny story. I was looking for L'Oreal products on the, their website over this summer, and I was thinking in my head, oh Lord, L'Oreal, y'all are so far behind, you need to update your products. Well, they did, so I went ahead and bought the new moisturizer, and let me tell you, it's an interesting direction. This is my second night using this. Obviously, this wasn't a L'Oreal trial, it's just a new product to me. Uh, it's probably gonna be my last night. It's a very thick moisturizer, and oh, it's heavily scented. Did I tell you the name of the product yet? It is the Age Perfect Cell Renewal Anti-Aging Night Moisturizer. And guess what their claim is? It is a night moisturizer with antioxidant recovery complex 
patented antioxidant from bitter orange. So what's going on in this new product here is very similar to, do you remember in the ginseng video I did, how I talked about what Suwasu did with ginseng? They didn't just put ginseng extract into their products, they patented out a specific component within that ginseng that they believe and tested to be a much more active component and added that back into these products. And that's what's going on here. So patented antioxidant from bitter orange, you can't patent bitter orange, it's something that exists in nature, but you can extract something out of bitter orange and patent that. And apparently that's what they did. I will be looking more into this. It's something I'll certainly talk about in this month's What's New in Skincare, but I thought that was interesting. You know, it's, it's interesting to see this now at the drugstore because again, we just talked about very expensive patented antioxidant formulas on Saturday. This was under 30, not 150. So, you know, it's it's interesting to see. One of you, Andrew, had DM me a subscriber and said that you were interested in hearing more about how these expensive ingredients eventually trickle down into drugstore products. Perfect timing because this is exactly what's been on my mind. That is exactly what happens. So again, we'll, we'll talk more about this and I, I probably won't stick with it because it's a little bit too scented for me, but we'll still talk more about it later this month. Mm, I almost forgot I have one more step for this video. So I'm gonna finish with the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment. I do, I just squeaked. I definitely do have some tiny little breakouts, but it's interesting. I feel like it's very obvious that I have been using a lot of anti-inflammatory ingredients for these past two weeks as they're overall quite small little dots. They're not highly inflamed acne. It's always something that's so interesting in doing these trials is that I really do see a reduction in inflammation with certain routines, and then I see an increase in inflammation with others. And again, it's seeing those results firsthand that is why we've gone in such a K-beauty heavy direction on this channel because it's hard not to highly appreciate that, right? Sure, I still have acne, but it's not as painful and long-lasting. It's gone in a couple of days versus a couple of weeks. Anyway, we've reached the end of my PM skincare routine. Again, if you are interested in this set, it will be linked in the description box below as well as my discount code. The next trial we are doing on this channel is Sioris. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a truly wonderful upcoming week. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Share with me your thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you all next time.